Hello, everyone. I'm Shenzhou 13 astronaut Wang Yaping. First of all, I would like to warmly congratulate the grand opening of China's Space Flight and Cultural and Art Exploration Forum. I'm honored to share with you as an invited guest. In 2003, when I saw Shenzhou 5 Korean astronauts Yang Liwei into space, my space dream quietly took root in my heart. I must become a female astronaut in space. However, the space environment will not change because of the arrival of women, nor will it lower the threshold because of women. So I have raised my requirements for myself on the content standard and intensity of training. I firmly believe that dreams are like stars in the universe, seemingly out of reach, but as long as you work hard, you will be able to touch them one day. As a young person, you must dare to have a dream, be brave enough to pursue it, and be diligent enough to fulfill it. With wisdom and hard work to build your own dream spaceship, you will definitely be able to usher in the launch moment of your dream and fly to the vast starry sky that belongs to you. When I was a child, I looked up the stars, dreaming that one day I could fly into the sky and pick the star with my bare hands. And now I myself right now enter the space station and become a space lecturer, finally realized my dream for many years. This hard won joy and glory belongs not only to myself, but also to everyone who builds space and loves space. Now I'm about to complete my space journey back to Earth. Before the trip, my daughter wants me to pick a star for her. A child's tender request, but it represents the human longing for space. One universe, one dream. The vast stars belong to everyone. The space industry is the common cause of all mankind, and exploring the vast universe is the common dream of all. As former American astronaut Katie Coleman once told me that when you look out the window at the stars and see our planet, remember that billions of women are looking out the window through your eyes. Space flight is a romantic and a great cause, and I'm very honored and happy that I chose space flight as my career to be the closest person to the stars. Space flight allows dreams to shine into reality. I hope that every woman can have a piece of the starry sky of her own and be most brilliant of her own. In recent years, the rapid development of China's space industry, Beidou satellites, the a the a Xihe exploration set, the first sun observation satellite Xihe, and the Zhurong Mars rover. The journey to the universe shines with the glory of the Chinese nation. We are happy to share our experience and the fruit of Swiss exploration with other countries. We will continue to work together with friends around the world for the development of world space industry to contribute more Chinese wisdom, Chinese so solutions, Chinese strengths to the building of a community with a shared future for mankind. Finally, I wish you all success in the Space Illuminate Stream, China Space and Cultural Forums. And thank you all. Let's see you on Earth.